Wendy Way, as always, I will be bringing you the top in Broadway news. Two new shows open up on Broadway this week. The Revival of the Big Knife and Tom Hanks' The Lucky Guy both open on Monday, April 1st. The Big Knife is a Broadway revival about Hollywood execs and the cutthroat movie industry. It is opening at the American Airlines Theater. Lucky Guy, which is the Nora Ephron story about tabloid columnist Mike McClary's rise and fall before eventually going on to win the Pulitzer Prize, opens at the Broadhurst Theater. This show stars well-known movie actor Tom Hanks as he is making his Broadway debut. Also, the last five years off-Broadway revival opens on Tuesday, April 2nd at the Second Stages Theater. Exciting news for all those Aaron Tveit fans out there, myself included. It was announced this week that in May he will be performing a solo concert at 54 Below in New York City. The dates for this concert will be May 3rd, May 11th, May 17th, and May 18th. He will be performing some personal favorites, songs from his previous performances including Catch Me If You Can and Next to Normal, Fingers Crossed, and some show tune standards. Tickets have not gone on sale yet, but pre-sale does start this week. Of course, we will keep you updated on when and where you can get those tickets. Aaron Tveit recently made the transition to TV in the new show Graceland. John Gallagher Jr. is on the newsroom, and Jonathan Groff just signed on to an HBO pilot. And now, Broadway star Matthew Broderick is following in their shoes. It was announced this week that Broderick is moving to TV in a new, untitled CBS pilot. The show is about a recently widowed father raising his 12-year-old son while trying to get back in the dating pool. Broderick is currently starring in the Broadway production of Nice Work If You Can Get It, and he will stay with the show until June. The famous and loved musical Jersey Boys is finally in talks to make it to the silver screen. Yahoo News reported this week that Clint Eastwood is actually in talks to adapt the Four Seasons musical. Casting has already begun for the movie. Jersey Boys has been a worldwide success facing much critical acclaim. It won the 2006 Tony Award for Best Musical, a 2006 Grammy album, and a 2009 Olivier Award for Best Musical as well. It tells the well-known story of how four blue-collar boys from New Jersey went on to become Rock and Roll Hall of Famers. The show includes four seasons hits including Walk Like a Man, Sherry, Big Girls Don't Cry, and Who Loves You. Hopefully we'll be hearing more about this soon. Jersey Boys is such an incredible musical with such classic songs and such an enjoyable storyline. I've actually seen it twice, and it would be wonderful for even more people to get to experience this amazing production. So I'm really hoping we hear more from this soon, and of course I will be bringing it to you. It's officially April, which means theater award season will soon be in full swing, and Stage Door Dish will be your source for the Tony Awards. Of course, the Tony Award nominations will be announced April 30th, the Drama Desk Award nominations are planning to be announced April 26th, and the Olivier Awards will be held on April 28th. So we will have full coverage of all those awards for you right here at StageDoorDish.com. In Broadway birthdays, a happy belated to the Broadway production of Newsies, which turned one year old on March 28th, celebrating a full year on Broadway. Also, happy birthday to Broadway legend Debbie Reynolds on Monday, April 1st. She's a Tony nominee for the 1973 revival of Irene, and her past credits include Annie Get Your Gun and The Unsinkable Molly Brown. She also starred in the critically acclaimed and classic Singing in the Rain film. Thanks so much for watching this episode of The Great Wendy Way. As always, let me know what you're most excited for this week and stay tuned for the latest in Broadway news.